All right, folks, we are back again now talking about both round three and four. Um, round three, the recording didn't save. It was at Qatar. And honestly, it doesn't matter that it didn't save because it was the most boring race ever. <laughs> um, there wasn't any safety cars. I kind of just drove on my own uh, and I got second place. Uh, I missed something with the setup. I had to have because other drivers were able to not go to d-rating even without using overtake but for me on guitar with my setup and i put work into the setup there must be something that was missing because i just had you know less grip the fuck than other the people and my ers would not be trying to set so, yeah frustrating i missed something with the setup but hey nice okay, clean p2 boring. boring race but i'd rather take a boring race where i don't get fucked over than the kind of race that we had at australia so here we are with now this is round four one of my home tracks here at Austin and you can see we are currently P2 almost a tenth up on our lap we only need to improve by two tenths to claim pole position as Jensen's on pole and he is already retired from the session as you can see coming through here we are two and a half tenths up it goes down to two tenths but yes we are looking good to get pole position here if we can just put the rest of the lap together we can make it happen and start on pole at our home race. We just got two more corners to navigate. What happens with the Delta here? It's looking good, coming through the final corner. We're gonna get on the throttle, oh, and it actually yeah. isn't enough to improve uh, yeah. our position. Damn it from the inside as well. That was just stupid. Because, wait for it. Yep. Ah, just shy of annoying. two tenths. It was two tenths, and I didn't notice the new lap time. Also, accidentally. Went... But hey, we set a great lap. Yeah, Got P2. We're on the front row, that, which means we're in especially... position, prime position to get a good grid start oh. and lead into the first quarter yeah, at our home so race. Four, Only 15 cars in seven, today's race, like which means a slightly less probability of an ill-timed safety car. So we will hope for well, much better fortune in found, the race man. to come. He's like, All right, we go bitch. to the race start. Jensen's on the hards. I'm on the mediums. I'm once again rocking the mediums, the sauce. So I'm going to have the compound advantage here early on. Will we get a great start off the line? It's an incredible start off the line, and we're going to be clean and clear before we even head into the first corner. Take a nice Ouch. line through there, claim the corner on the outside, be completely clear, and a nice clean overtake into the first quarter. We lead our home Grand Prix here on the first lap off the grid start. Man, do I love getting a good grid start. My favorite part of open wheeled racing. I think all racing Looking should start logo. from a dead stop because you don't jump into a moving car, right? So, I mean, if you do, sure then that's a whole different M4 type of talent you got. And what a first lap this is for us. Things are starting out great here. Great grid I'll, start on a softer tire compound. We will see how things progress from here. Things will progress pretty decently. Jensen is keeping up with me on the hard tires. The tire degradation here is pretty massive, but not too much that I can't make the mediums to softs work, but we're still out in front. We're pulling a gap on the rest of the field, yeah, which is one. fine by me. Advancing forward to lap six, Jensen's looking like he's going to be able to make the overtake happen here. DRS strong down this stretch, and we're going to let him go. We're not going to overfight it here. We are still looking very good for this race, as we are going to be on the soft compound at the end. We receive a little touch in the rear, but no harm, no foul there. And, yeah, we will slot back into P2, but all is still going good for now. I know I've been kind of skipping around more in these races, not really talking over a lot of the middle ground, but it wouldn't be anything that I haven't already covered in previous league racing videos. It's the same strategy for the same reason in terms of why I do the harder compound first, or why I'm patient while driving or not burning all my ERS, what I'm looking to do in these front running groups. It's always the same, so I'm sure you guys have caught on to the patterns by now. Break the DRS, the car behind. Good. When you're in a train like this, staying patient and staying solid. The, the game plan. Starting on the higher, harder tire first. 
the plan, you know? All that stuff hasn't changed in the last two years, so it's all kind of just the details of the driving and what position swaps do happen. So that's why I'm just getting to the meat of those instead of just rehashing the same shit every week. Which I'm, guys, I'm sure you guys understand. We are going to have DRS here on lap seven now. We are a quarter of the way into this one. And this race has gone by, I remember this race coming by so fast. You know, it's, the laps just tick by, especially when you're in a tight group like this. The laps just tick by so quickly. And yeah, it looks like we're just going to take turns swapping the position back and forth here. We leave the margin there heading into the corner. I didn't want to cut him off just in case he tried to hold it around the outside. And we slot back into the lead. We put in a few solid laps. As you can see here on lap 10, we are still holding the lead. They get, they get close on the DRS straight, but we have been able to hold them off for now. And every lap we get closer to pitting to the soft tires, the better it is for us. Coming to the end of lap 14, start of lap 15, the tires are dying. <laughs> the tires do die at the end of these stints running this strategy. I'm going to try to go defensive here. He's going to dive down the inside. I'm going to look to hold it around the outside, but the hards at this point are just the better tire. As Simo is going to try to get around to me as well. Trying to not fall down to third, but there's nothing I can really do about it. He uses all of his ERS, so now he's down below 10%. Really eager to get by me, even though he's on the hard one the But nonetheless, we are still less than a second away from the lead. Still in the lead group, and we will be pitting sooner rather than later to get rid of these tires. At over 60% at this point. Well, if everyone's so close, we will see if anything interesting happens going in to this DRS straight, especially since I know Simo is low in ERS. You can see I don't use my ERS here because I know that he's being aggressive with the e with the battery, so I'm hoping that him and Jensen are gonna fight, and if they were gonna fight, I wouldn't wanna get involved and make a three-way fight. But he doesn't do anything. You know, he gets super aggressive to pass me, just to sit in second, I guess, which I guess did a whole lot for him. I don't, I don't fucking know. I don't know why I'm questioning what people do on track anymore by thinking one layer deep into it, probably thinking one layer deeper than he did, but he's a lone battery, so if he makes any mistake coming out of a corner to the DRS straight, he should be able to pass like him no problem with the battery with advantage, the stick, that I will have. We will see. Is it time for me to dive into the pits just yet, or do we got to make a couple more laps on these medium tires? Nope, not time to come in yet. We need to make these no mediums last as the long pit. as we can if we are going to end the race on the soft compound of tire. That's right. Some and we come up. into the pits. It is the end of lap 16, so we will come in for a fresh set of tires. And heading into the pits, Time penalty we what? get a fucking speeding penalty. And I wish oh, no I had the way to slow it down. I Fuck don't know game, how man. we got a speeding penalty. Got speeding yes, for going 48 on the fucking fifth. Going 49 across the line. But I guess that wasn't good enough for the game. So, fucking neat. And after everyone else would pit laps after me, I would have the undercut on them. So I regained the lead of the race. But it doesn't matter because I have a five second tie penalty. I don't know. I was too frustrated to look into it if maybe the actual in-game line is different from the visual line, but yeah, um, when the message on top of the screen had me down to 47 miles per hour when I crossed the line, when you slow down the video, I crossed it going 49, I don't fucking know, maybe the line isn't where it appears to be in the game, I don't fucking know, and then we get a time penalty. Just because at this point we're just pissed off. It doesn't really matter at this point. Yep. But yeah, I got, gotta love F123. The lines for the pits aren't where they appear to be. Neat. I love yearly releases. This is this is great. So yeah, skip to the end of the race. Absolutely nothing happened for the whole race. Come across the line in second, but that will be third because of penalties. Oh no! Great. <laughs> you still yeah, you gotta right. love it. Uh, and yeah, another frustrating race. A lot of nothing happened, and a lot of people got penalties because a lot of people uh, nice got caught out that the <laughs> line just isn't where it appears to be. Ah, uh, those tires were done. Yeah, I, I saw you struggling. Neat. I mean, I, I don't even know what to say the, about the it. The rears were good, but the fronts—they were 
it, it's fine in practice. It's fine in all my practice races, and then you go into the regular game, and everyone gets speeding penalties because for the pits. Game says we're going slow enough. I guess the wide isn't where it appears to be. It gives us, it gives like, what was it, three or four of us got speeding penalties. Yeah, so that was the ahead, difference yeah. between me getting third and second today. Like I was pulling away a second. Ah, uh, whatever. I was you past the point of giving a shit as soon as I saw that five second time penalty because I knew that was hard, hard to over. Off yep, that's yeah, the end of this one, and we will see you guys in the next one.